Hello guys and welcome to my transformation slash review video of all these different figures of Grimlock. So a while back I unboxed this guy and this guy and I said that I would do a separate video showing their transformation and I decided well might as well show all these different transformations of all these other Grimlock toys that I have. So without further ado let's get to it. So we're going to start with this little Grimlock right here and if you'd like to see what this guy is called specifically or any of the other transformers in the video you could take a look in the description. So here we go. So this guy is really simple to transform and all you got to do here is that you pull him apart right there and then this is going to become his legs and oh my god we're done. There he is. I mean you can put the arms up. So this is a pretty great transformation. I mean considering how tiny the toy is and it's very quick, very easy. I like it and it's a actually a pretty faithful representation of what he's supposed to look like in like the real version of the transformer and here's the bigger version of the figure that you just saw so i really enjoyed this figure because i think it gives like a really unique look to grimlock and i actually kind of dig the green and the black color scheme so let's go ahead and get started all right so this one is going to follow a very similar pattern to something that you're going to see in a lot of the grimlocks in that the legs are going to become the arms of the robots. So here we go. Oh, there's the head. Open up right here. Make sure I'm in the camera there. All right. And with that, I'm gonna tuck the arms behind over here as such. I'm gonna put the head back and as you can see the legs of the T-Rex mode have become the arms. And now the tail is going to become here the legs of robot mode. So we tuck it in like that. Like so. Okay. Oh, these guys are still popping ahead. And there you go. Boom. And for comparison, here's the other guy. So as you can see, I think that they pull off like a pretty good approximation of what he's supposed to look like, right? With uh, given it such a limited amount of, of space. And um, I think it's good. I think you can definitely tell that this guy is Grimlock. And I think they did a good job with the sculpt of the head as well. I like like the build of his body, or like his big chest and stuff like that. I think it looks pretty great. And now we're going to take a look at this Grimlock. So the reason why I got this Grimlock is that most Grimlocks are built, you know, to stand upright like this, right? But I like that this one was built to stand horizontally, you know, res closely resembling the way that the real T-Rex stood. So that's why I thought it was pretty cool. I also really like just the design of his dinosaur mode. I usually, when I display him, I like to keep him in this mode because I think it looks fantastic. So let's transform him. So the first thing we do is take out the gun. And now what's pretty unique about this Grimlock in particular is that they actually do kind of vary it up a little bit. For example, in that this upper half of his body is actually going to become his legs right here, as opposed to the traditional thing that you see in all the other Grimlocks that they, they just use the legs to become the arms. So let's just go ahead and open it. That may sometimes come off like that. That's totally fine. It's just a ball and socket joint so you can easily reattach it. Here are the arms. So here it can get a little confusing in terms of what, what way you're twisting it. So once you take off the tail, you can kind of orient yourself better with the head right there. So we're gonna flip this around like that and then flip this guy over here, put that back. Now you got this position so you can get the arm up and you can get this arm up as well. And now with 
it like this, you are able to position this thing in the back, which you can put it as like a backpack right here, right? Or you can put it facing upwards, you know, whichever you prefer. And with this, Give him his little gun. And there you go. There's the robot mode. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not my favorite robot mode of all these Grimlocks. I definitely like his beast mode more. And I say the term beast mode because I'm a big fan of Beast Wars. And speaking of Beast Wars, here is Dinobots. Now I know he is not Grimlock. But I figured since we're transforming Dinobots anyway, might as well show this guy. So here we go. He is a reissue of the original one, but I thought he was extremely well made. So that's why I just had to get him. So it does incorporate a lot of things from the original one, but it does do a, its own little unique twist to it to make it more accurate to the Dinobot that we see in the TV series. So here's the tail that comes off. We'll get back to that later. And in this one, the big thing is that the legs stay as the legs. They just have these little pieces now that wrap over the ankle that you have to just kind of like get up. Oh, and if you decide to get this toy, he is, um, he's not as sturdy as the other fi Transformer figures. You're going to see that right away. He's a little delicate, but I mean, you know, as long as you don't like really violent with him, he'll be, he'll be totally fine. So here we go. Transform like that. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to do this like part right here. And then this is the only thing that can get sometimes a little tricky is getting these little claws out as the decorations. There we go, okay. And then this just wraps around right here. Sorry if I sometimes bring it off camera. There we go. So then this tightens right there. And now we're going to bring the Dinobot head in, just like the original one. These two pieces cover those little holes right there. And if you would like to, you also have the option to bring this up. If you want it to remain more like the original one, right? Because this is how his claws were. But if you want him to hold the thing, which we're going to bring out a little bit. He needs to have his actual hand so he can hold it. So here we go. So here's the tail. So the tail does not have the spin function that the other one has, but I mean, it's all right. So there we go. And we're gonna, cause we're gonna use both his hands now so he can have This propeller over here, right there, and he can also have his sword. So there we go. There's Dinobot. I think he's a fantastic. Oh, let me just snap his waist there. All right. I think he's a fantastic figure. He's by far the most accurate version of Dinobot available. You know, in, in terms of how he looks like in the TV show. I think he was extremely well done. Usually when I display him, I keep him in robot mode. So I think he looks fantastic. And this, you can twist and it reveals either the Maximal or the Predacon logo if you want to, but I just would rather keep it like this. And there you go. There is Dinobot. Next up is Grimlock from Age of Extinction. So the reason why I got this one, because there's a bunch of versions available, is that I felt like it was the least worst one. Like it was the most decent one. And I say decent and not great because I felt like they really did not do a good job of translating what he looks like in the movie to the toy. I felt he looks very cobbled together. Like you could just kind of like see all the different robot parts poking out of him as opposed to just seeing like a seamless dinosaur body. And also the color scheme too, I really did not like that they just changed him to be orange when in the movie he is definitely not orange. But in any case, let's uh, go ahead and start transforming this guy. Oh yeah, and the horns, I like to keep him like this because like this, he just looks like absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you know he doesn't have him like that in the movie. 
I just wish that in the toy, he, he did not have the horns, but I guess they were kind of constrained to put the horns in because he has them in the movie. Okay, so here we go. He does look better in the robot mode, which is its saving grace. And I usually display him in his robot mode because I feel like the T-Rex mode doesn't look that good. It's not too complicated to transform as you can see. And as usual, it follows a trend, you know, legs become the arms as always. And here, twist it there and then it has a little slot to go into. The same over here. Boom. And now we're going to have to deal with this guy over here. You move the horns up to get this to go through the back. Now there we have, that is what he looks like in the movie though, I must admit, you know, the little head coming up as the shoulder kind of thing. And then you finally pull this thing out. Like this. And then it does have this guy over here, which you can also attach as a tail. I just think it looks really silly, so that's why I didn't attach it. But he does have his staff that he has in the movie. And there is Grimlock from Age of Extinction. So as you can see, the robot mode looks a lot better because at least he looks more like what he does in the movie. And at least it looks like a seamless robot. You just, you don't see like the pieces poking in and out like you do in the beast mode. And then that's what it looks like from the back. So yeah, he looks pretty good in display like this. At least it looks like a, a good looking toy. And here is Grimlock from Fall of Cybertron. So this is the original toy that Hasbro released. And what I saw in another video is that apparently they were going through like difficult financial times. So that's why they were not able to make very high quality transformers. But you can really kind of tell that because like, look at that like giant hole there like that it has in the, the bottom of the figure and the, the legs just kind of poke out and you can kind of tuck him in like that, but they don't ever really tuck in very well and this is another one of those grimlocks that i like to display in robot mode not in beast mode because i feel like the tail it's just look you see how clunky that looks like this giant piece and it's not long enough like a thing about the tails it's got to be the right length and this is just not long enough and i mean it would be long enough if this was just a lot smoother right but the way that it is right now is that it's just clunky to look at and it just looks like a like he's dragging like a slug or something i i was i, I never was a fan of that tail but it does have this cool gimmick that when you put it like that, the little red light goes up like that. I do enjoy that a lot. All right, so let's transform this guy. He's pretty simple. I mean, you can probably already like see the transformation from there. <laughs> it's very easy. So we just tuck the arms up here. The other figure that you're gonna see soon actually does borrow a lot of concepts from this one, so. Almost there. And this guy, like the other Grimlock you just saw, he also has some accessories. He has his sword and shield. Let's take out his hand completely. Okay. So this shield, like you put it in the side of his arm right here. There you go. And there you go, there's Grimlock. So as you can see, the robot mode actually looks pretty good. It looks uh, very, very like he does in the game. Very much like he does in the game. There you go. Backpack looks very small. Yeah, he actually is a pretty sleek looking figure when you keep him in robot mode. It's just, I would not display him in beast mode. All right, now it's finally time for the big guys. So this Masterpiece Edition is just absolutely amazing. 
and I feel like, just like I said in the unboxing, he looks just like he does in the cartoon. He looks just like he does in Transformers Devastation. I was so happy with this figure. He really is an incredible Grimlock. His, the way he looks like both in beast mode and in robot mode is fantastic. So good. Okay, so let's start transforming this guy. It's actually um, very loyal to what he looks like when he's actually transforming, you know, based on what I've seen of the cartoon and in the game. So what you gotta do, the main part really is the legs. The, the top part is actually very simple. Like you just open them up. So as such. So the legs is really where the art of this transformation is. So let's go ahead. The legs are very, very cool how they form. Just trying to do it to kind of stay in frame. There we go. It is a very sturdy figure, so don't worry about snapping like that, like I'm doing like that, because that's what you need to do to get it into place. So here comes the leg. This is, this is absolutely ingenious, the way that I thought that they did it. So there it is. What you do is you slide it in like that. Let me just make sure it's actually there. Okay, so it's there. And then you slide it in as such. And you fold it out like that. And then this part over here comes in to form the leg. So I thought that was so cool. Like that is a really ingenious way to tuck in the whole tail and make it look just like his foot is supposed to look like. Okay, so here we are in the next part. Same thing. Make everything fold in and it's very simple once you once you get it like the first time it may take you a couple tries but once you get like exactly where to bend and twist things it'll be very seamless and very fun too i really like transforming this guy a lot so now let's go back over here again and we're getting close the end this transformation just need to pop out the hands right here spring out the arm right there boom simple enough and same thing here there you go Perfect. There we go. And now we just have to put this guy up. There you go. And now here, I like to keep this horizontal, right here, the hips. And the arms you can position them as ever, whichever way you want. The head tucks in neatly back there. So you can put the arms, let's say. Oh yes, and the eyes as well. Like you can change the eyes over here. If you pull the lever back here, you can change them from red to green. So if I get back here, boom, there's, there's red eyes. And then I can pull the lever and there's green eyes. You can also do that with the head of Grimlock. You just switch it out over here like this. And this guy also has a couple little accessories, a sword. And he also has this gun too, if you want to make him use the gun. But for now, let's just make him use the sword. There you go, that's pretty cool, I thought. If you press the back of the button, boom. It lights up, at night it looks better because it, it looks like the sword lights up. And there is the Grimlock masterpiece. Position him, here we go.
boom. And there we go. And there he is. And here we go. This is my favorite Grimlock Transformer, I would have to say. I just feel that both the robot mode and the beast mode look absolutely fantastic. This beast mode is, is amazing. Like it's not only does it look just like he's supposed to in the game, it looks like he was pulled right from the video game. It's just everything is tucked in and you really can't see the robot when you're looking at the Rex and vice versa. Like you can't see the Rex when you're looking at the robot. It's, and I feel like that's a good mark of a transformer when both modes look absolutely seamless. And just so you can see how accurate this guy is in terms of what he looks like in the game, I actually have a poster of Transformers Fall of Cybertron right here in my room. As you can see, it's like they just pulled him right out of the poster and turned him into a toy. He looks absolutely fantastic. And here's the comparison between the two Grimlocks from Fall of Cybertron, the two versions. So as you can see, I mean, they're just on completely different levels. It's just the amount of detail, just the texturing, the, the way it's built, the bulk of this guy, like the, the length of the tail, just how good the body looks. Like it really does look exactly like he should look like as opposed to this poor little guy. You know, he's just like barely held together. He's very small. His whole bottom half of his body, I mean, like this actually has a, a body and he just has a giant hole, poor little guy. And the tail too, as you can see, just looks awkward with this thing. And this actually looks like a tail that you can bend and move according to how you would like it to look. And yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're just on completely different levels. He's a little complex to transform. So let's get to it. So I think what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is start unsnapping everything. Because a lot of things, a lot of little tiny things have to snap in place. For this guy, you're gonna find out. As you can see, like everything in there had to be snapped into place. So now let's tuck this in. So we're gonna fold it like that. Give me one second, I'm just gonna adjust the screen so I can see a little better. Okay. And now there's the tail tucked in. I thought that was really ingenious way to be able to have the you know, the long tail that he needs without needing to, boom, without having to shorten it like other toys, well, like the Hasbro toy had to do. And so then this part is get, can get a little tricky right now. I'm going to show you where, but right now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly pull this foot out. And sometimes if you do it too quickly, it'll pop right out. But if you do it slowly, it won't. And if it does pop out, that's totally fine. You can just snap it back in again. So this is another one of those things where you just fold it out so it can, it can have a place to stand. And now we do the same thing with the other foot where we slowly push it in like that. It's better to do the slow controlled movements when you're transforming that part because if not, like it usually just snaps right out. This is, oh, there we go. Okay, so there's the two feet ready to go. So now this part, it's, it can be a little frustrating when you're transforming it for the first time because now you have to get this piece to roll back to be behind his leg. Now the thing is that you will have to bend the piece outwards a little bit. Like this hinge right here, you are, it doesn't seamlessly go back. As you can see, it really, it just stops, right? But it's okay because you can bend it a little bit to give it. See how I have to like bend it a little bit like that? There, and then it goes back. So you will have to bend it. But uh, I've transformed this guy several times and it hasn't weakened the toy in any way. So don't don't worry about like breaking your toy or anything like that. Just let I me mean, don't like tear it off. Be gentle with it. But it can it can go through. It can pass by towards the back. So now what we're going to do is snap everything into place here. Right there, there's a little slot and it goes in and then same goes for this guy right here.
Here we go. Okay, it's snapped in. Okay, so now we have both our legs. Great. All right, now we're going to have to deal with the upper body. So before, let's go ahead. I thought this was really cool how the, the hands come out, how it just kind of folds back into his arm, into his forearm, these pieces. Gives it a very cool touch right there. And then you do the same thing, obviously, for the other side. Boom. Okay. Now we're gonna deal with his backpack, which is actually a pretty seamless backpack. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do with this guy is that you're gonna have to twist it around. So right here, twist it the other way around, like that. And it's supposed to sound like that, don't worry. You're not breaking your door. And now this little part, we're gonna bring in, we're gonna open this this snaps open like that. You're gonna tuck in this little part over here as such. And now this, that's very important, okay? This thing right here, you have to fold it upwards because if you don't fold it upwards, you won't be able to bring the head down. That caused me some difficulty initially when I was learning how to transform this guy, which does take a while, by the way. Like, don't worry if it's taking you a little bit to learn how to transform this guy. It's pretty complex and the instructions aren't extremely clear. So now that you bring it down, you're able to snap all that into place. And this little thing right there falls neatly there. Now you just have to bring up his chest piece, snap it in. That falls in perfectly. And then the arms, you just have to tuck them in as such, like that. And there you go, tuck him in. Okay, let me get his accessories. So, wow, these guys, I mean, like I said in the unboxing, they are astounding, the detail they put into this. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that shield. Wow. And there you go. There is Grimlock. Doesn't he look like absolutely fantastic? I just love the build that they gave him and he looks just like he does in the game and the color scheme is perfect. It's so incredible. It's so absolutely incredible. Like they just did such a good job. Everything tucks in perfectly. Everything looks like it's supposed to. And there you go. Here are the Grimlocks in their robot mode. Subscribe for more awesome content. Let me know what you think of the Grimlocks below. And you can follow me on my Twitter and Instagram at GodzillaRex. Thanks for watching and see you next time.